when the market gets annihilated, I really don't know what else to call this action other than a Pat's crash. You need to stay calm. I know this goes against every instinct you have. Human beings are frail. But when stocks are plummeting back to earth, it helps to search for companies that you know are in very good shape. Well, because they just told you they're in good shape. Take Cypress Semi CYs, the maker of programmable systems on a chip, low power semiconductors with many different applications, along with chips for touch screens, microcontrollers, appliances, Internet of Things, memory chips for the auto market, and what's known as SRAM, static random access memory. Cypress just reported an excellent quarter on Thursday night, a nice top and bottom line beat. But because it's a supplier of some very important cell phone parts and Wall Street disliked Apple's quarter, the stock ended up doing nothing. Granted, this was a pretty good performance for Friday, although today it got tossed in the wood chopper and fell 8.5%. Uh, Should you view this as an opportunity to put money to work, maybe stay away? Let's check in with Hassan El Khoury. He's the CEO of Cypress Semiconductor. Hear more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Corey, welcome back to Man Money. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me back. All right, let's get it straight. There are people right now who are saying that the economy has gotten too hot. There are people saying that there is a big sell-off in semiconductors because demand has cooled. Your guidance, how did you describe the demand environment? During our uh, call, we described it as strong. Uh, we have no reason to uh, be concerned for 2018 based on what the outlook is from uh, not just us, but also our customers. Uh, just look at the results. Look at 2017. Look at the guide. Look at the fundamentals. It's all pointing in the same direction. Let's make sure people should understand it's not just one product that's doing well, right, sir? That's right. I mean, our automotive outgrew the automotive market. You know, the number of uh, units grew two, two and a half percent. We grew 16 percent, our auto, which is one of our biggest focus markets. Consumer uh, outgrew, industrial outgrew. I mean, look at our IoT connectivity. Everything is getting connected. That grew 46 percent from an annualized Q4-16. 46 percent. Yeah, I, I'm glad you mentioned that twice because, frankly, it's astonishing. And what, I really, what really bothers me, sir, is that there are people on a day like today who literally are saying, well, wait a second, autos are slowing, so it's got to be bad for Cypress. But first, you're taking more and more content in the car. And second, I can't believe you're seeing any slowing of orders in auto. That's right. I mean, I've always said we're not, uh, you know, Im impacted by, by the SAR. So even a SAR of 2%, which is, again, look at the last decade, it's been 2 to 3%. Our story is content. We're in the content where the content is growing every year. We're in ADAS, we're in body, we're in infotainment, we're in connected cars. All of these have double digit growth. We play in those, that's why we're growing. One of the things I love about your quarter, and you would uh, indulge me in this because you don't go into it the way I would have, but there is a personalization going on in how people listen to music and how people make their homes. Are you not integral to this personalization? Absolutely. You know, when people get in the car, they want to get the same experience as they do at home, in front of their computer, their tablet, or any consumer device. You want to get in the car, you want your phone to be connected, you want your media streaming, you want the media to stream from the front to the back so your kids can watch. That's what we enable. That's what people are buying car because of that experience. And also, wearables are doing well for you. Absolutely. You know, we introduced a new, uh, a new platform, new platform specifically designed for wearable, and more importantly, connected wearables. Ultra low power, you know, we're talking about seven day battery life. You know, I, I am astonished at how well you're doing. Look, I always like Cypress. I was always hoping you get all the breakouts. Every breakout is, now is happening. It's amazing that your stock did not go up big. But then again, we have to deal with the stock market. But I want to thank you, Mr. O'Quir, for coming on and putting it in context. We do not have enough people who understand that things are very good out there, but the stock market is broken. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. That's Hassan El Khoury. He's the CEO of Cypress Semi. Look, his stock should have been up big. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. We have to look for opportunities where some, de some company is doing so well, but the stock gets slammed anyway. Mad Money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. 
Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.